To start the constraining process, we will create a sphere. This is only used to check the position of the grab position in the hand. We will delete the sphere later as we are using it as a placeholder. In the outliner, group the sphere twice. One position will be used for the position of where the prop will be positioned in the hand. The top group will be parent constrained to both IK and FK wrist controllers. We will create two spheres so that we can have the ability to constrain the prop to both hands. So duplicate the sphere if you would like to have the ability to constrain the prop to both hands. To start, you can have the character set to either IK or FK. Browse to Constrain, Parent, Option Box. Maintain Offset should be turned off since we will want the position of the group to be at the wrist. We can see once applied the spheres are parent constrained to the wrist. Move the grab position, which is under the parent grabber group, not the sphere geometry. The position is just a proxy placeholder. We will modify it later with a real prop such as the character's umbrella. We'll redo the process once more. This time having the maintain offset turned on to show visually how to do this another way where we can place the spheres manually. You may want to check the values to be sure that they are symmetrical, however it's not essential. We'll set both arms to FK and we'll parent constrain them again. Once again browse to constrain parent option box. This time, turn Maintain Offset on and apply the parent constraint. Be sure to constrain the highest group. Since IK and FK axis are different, if we kept Maintain Offset off, the position of the sphere would change once the constraint is applied. This is also another reason why we are using the spheres as placeholders. We'll need to do the same process for the IK wrist. We can see that the sphere is moving around the halfway mark of the wrist, which means it has been parent constrained for both FK and IK correctly. Next we will set up set driven keys for FK IK blending. Browse to key, set driven key, set. The cross shaped controller which contains the IK FK blending should be the driver. This process will allow us to parent constraint both IK and FK controllers. We can see that the constraint is working correctly. We'll follow the same process for the other hand to set up the constraint. Now that we have both sides working correctly, we can remove the spheres. Quick pause to tell you a little bit about Class Creatives. They offer a top-ranked game design curriculum online. All courses are taught by industry veterans with experience from studios such as Disney, Naughty Dog, Insomniac, Google, and more. Learn the entire process of animation and motion capture using Autodesk Maya and Blender's Grease Pencil by following the methods used to create industry quality professional animation. The full animation workflow is explained in detail in their masterclass courses. Learn professional workflows such as 3D character modeling, utilizing industry standard software such as ZBrush, Autodesk Maya, and Substance Painter. The entire character design workflow is covered from start to finish in their masterclass offerings. Extensive character rigging courses teach the process of how to custom rig characters for all of your project needs. Land that new job, receive higher pay, and stand out from the competition. The great thing about Class Creatives is the ability to learn at your own pace and your own schedule. Get started today for free with the link in the description. Next we will create a double sided arrow to use as a controller for grabbing the umbrella. This will also be used to parent constraint to both hands. We can snap the arrow to the grid by pressing the X key. We'll create a group by pressing Ctrl G.
Inside the attribute editor under the drawing overrides tab, we can change the color of the controller by moving the slider. We can see in this example that the controller has turned red. We will make a limitation of translation Y and Z to be static, and we will limit the X to an amount of your choice. For this example, we'll set it to negative 10 and 10. Here you can see the arrow only moves in the X axis as we set it. However, in the outliner, we can select the group and move it if needed. Next, we will import the umbrella rig. Be sure that there are not any keys set on the umbrella file before working. The circular controller on the umbrella will serve as the parent constraint spot. Browse to constrain parent option box. Be sure to set maintain offset to off. We will want the position to stay in place once we set the constraint. We'll do the same process for the left hand since we will want to have the option to constrain to either hand. We will create an empty group and also parent constrain it. We can see that it is parent constrained to all three spots correctly. Browse to key, set driven key, set. We will set up a set driven key with the double sided arrow as a driver. When the arrow is set to the center, it will represent the umbrella in the empty grab position that we created in the outliner previously. When the arrow is set to the right side, it will make the umbrella parented to the right hand and the opposite side for the left hand. The umbrella now has an offset, so you can move the position of the prop with rotations and translations if needed. Position the arrow in the center if you wish the umbrella to be unconstrained from the hand. Everything looks like it is working correctly. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Perfect!